All right, hi guys. Let's give this a go to do a new pattern for today. I'm gonna go to pattern focus and scroll down to today's pattern, which is this one. Mamo Bay. Okay, that's interesting. There's no other videos on this one yet. So this is a step out by Barbara Steyer, 2018. So it's an organic sort of a thing. Look at that. That's, that's what we're aiming for right there. That's cool. I like that. So step number one is so a couple of small parallel lines. Can you see that? You're kind of far away. Let me zoom you in. Let me zoom that in there. That's better. A couple of parallel lines. Step number two. Then we're going to do a, like a gap and more parallel lines and another gap and some parallel lines and then make some like branch. So you're going to make like a little branch. And at the end of that branch, we're going to draw some circles. Now, if you'll notice that one, this one was drawn first. So then this one had to kind of overlap and that one can overlap. That's cool. We can do that. And then inside that little circle, I'm going to do a little U shape right here. And then from that U shape, we're going to put a couple of little lines coming up. So it's got some depth. And then you can shade it. And that's the, the finished little thing there. And you can draw it in a ribbon like with the, with the branches more straight out or like that or coming up more organic and not even branched but just kind of in a clump like that and it looks like on this tile it's shown in all those different ways see there's the more straight kind here's more like just coming off of something here's one all by itself out there so there's a variety of ways we can use this Mamo Bay. Uh, do I want a square tile or a rectangular? I'm not sure, but I'm going to turn on my light. So close your eyes, everyone. Here we go. I um, guess I'll go with square. This one's, this is the one I used last week where I did the watercolor on it. So it's a little bit lumpy to, to accommodate that. You can kind of just curl it the other way. That might be a little too lumpy for me to draw with right now. I think I'm going to stick that under a book so it flattens itself back out a little bit. I'll give that some pressure and I'll just grab another one. There. That makes it easier. Okay, um, step one for me is to give myself a little bit of a border area just so I don't get too close to the edge like I did on, there was one last, last week that I got right up to the edge and that just really drove me crazy. I, I really just don't like that. Um, let's give myself a little thought pattern as to where I want this kind of branchy thing to go. Um, a, a bit of a composition. I'm thinking perhaps one coming up this way and maybe one coming down like that and perhaps one across like this. So we'll use these types of shapes as, as my is my compositional thought and see what happens and I want to do them all I think I want to do them all branchy like a like leaf branchy I think not a hundred percent sure yet I'm just gonna start here 
and I'm going to do like this and I'm going to leave a little space where I want to branch. And I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm going to put a little branch here. And maybe here. And like that. Maybe way out like that. These branches might be a little bit wide. And the next one I might make it a little bit closer together. Let's fill that in a little bit. <clears throat> like that. That looks good. I like that shape. Um, we're just going to do a little lollipop type shape. I think I'm going to start at the I'm going to start at the top and work my way down with this shape and if they overlap that's cool. If they don't that's okay too. I'm happy with those and then let's have one coming which way this way So, and then I'm going to do maybe some branches that go downward. Why not? going to see some of them. These ones are kind of growing the other direction. Yeah, I think I want one more set right here. Because I didn't want that as Didn't want that sticking out quite so far. Okay, those are really intertwined. 
and I'm not sure I want another one. Maybe, maybe a little growth of them up here. So I've been at work all day today. I come home from work and my boys have just made a mess out of the family room. Oh my gosh. Such a mess. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay. So now I'm going to do the little shape. That with that like that. That's cool. They've decided that my son decided he wanted a new modern television. I think I told you that the other day. And it's humongous. Oh my gosh, it's huge. But They've mounted it above the fireplace. And the perfect place to look at the TV for me is going to be sitting out in the other room and looking at the TV down the hallway. Because the darn thing is just too flippin' big. That's okay, I don't watch TV much anyway, so. We'll see. Maybe he'll be able to set it up so I can watch my YouTube videos on it. That would be nice. There we go. They're all kind of doing their own thing there. I feel like I want, I like in the sample, the dark background. I think I'm gonna actually color in the back in a dark manner. So you can use the brush pen. I'm not gonna come right up against um, those lines. I'm gonna leave it a little bit farther apart. I'm going to erase. So I don't want my guidelines to affect my choices of where I'm putting this mark. And I think inside here I need where's my bigger pen? This one. So inside these areas I'm going to go like this. I may need a smaller pen actually. Yep, I'm gonna need to go a little smaller. Where's my 03? 03 is good. That was 08. 08's too big. But 03 is a little bit bigger than 01. So I'll fill in a little bit faster. I don't want to go right up against that. I don't want to lose that shape. So I'm going to do it like that.
I should be able to use the brush pen out there. I'm just going to follow this form and make a sort of echoed shape. trying to do I don't usually draw after work because I really don't like it when it's that dark in this room but now that the Sun is going down so much later I'm going to give this a go I may not get very far today but uh, my next my next week's schedule is such that I'm not going to have a whole heck of a lot of time for drawing I will be at work in the way or er, out we hours for me because I am not a morning person and I have to be at work at 7 a.m. for the next five days so we're opening a new store and so I have to help out with opening that store so besides the fact that I have to be there at the wee hours of the morning it is a commute for me Right now, I'm literally only a mile and a half from my work to home, which is a delightful five-minute commute. Seven minutes if I hit traffic. If I don't catch the signal just right, it's a seven-minute commute. But, you know, usually it's like a five-minute commute. It's it's lovely. Um, but yeah, the, the, the other store is going to take me, well, I Google Maps it and put in, you know, the time of day that, that it's going to be when I'm traveling and it says it can take anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes depending on traffic so I'm going to give myself an hour to get there which means I have to leave the house at six o'clock in the morning which means I need to get up around five in order to be coherent enough to leave by six Ugh. That is not going to be pretty. I am not a morning person. As it was, I had to be work at eight today. So, yeah. But we'll see how it goes. And then the hard thing will be after a whole week of, of working early, my body clock will reset itself because it always does. And then my body clock will decide, oh, now you want to be morning person. So now you're going to fall asleep like at eight o'clock at night. And then when I have to stay, do go back to my normal schedule and work the night shift my guess is my body will not want to be coherent at 10 p.m. which is my normal shift I get off at 10 15 10 20 sometimes 10 30 depending on depending on how busy we are. We have a lot of customers right up all the way till 10 o'clock. It takes us closer to 10.30 to get out of there. But yeah. I don't mind going and helping out with the new store. I mean, I do I do really like the, the, the jobs that I'm going to be doing. We're going to be setting up um, 
you know, setting up the shelves, putting uh, where the merchandise goes. It's called a planogram, and we or a schematic, depending on in our particular place. That's it's called a planogram, but sometimes other uh, outside people come in to do them and they call them schematics and it's, it's basically it's all the same thing they give us like a map of what's supposed to go on what shelf exactly the order it's supposed to be and then we have to put the labels and get the shelves um, the height on the shelves measured out just right and all the spacing for the labels and so forth so that when the first um, truck arrives with product everything is ready to go and we are ready to fill the shelves on that first day so but it's it's really cra quite crazy um, We'll go from an empty store to a completely filled store in seven days. So it's a lot of work. A lot, a lot, a lot of work. And I imagine that they will probably have me work overtime. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe they'll just have the the employees that are going to be permanently staffed at that location work the overtime. When we opened um, the store I'm at now, we really, I mean, we literally, I think I did, let's see, a normal work week is 40 hours, and I think I was doing, I was averaging 60 or 62 hours or 70 hours. I don't even remember now what it was. It was a lot. Oh, I missed a spot that I want to do it with the smaller. This one right here. And now I'm going to use my bigger brush pen and fill these guys in. Today was a really lousy day. Besides the fact that it was super hot. I mean, I got to work at 8 o'clock this morning, right? And it was already like 88 degrees at 8 o'clock this morning. It was so hot. And then... Um, According to my phone, it got up to like 112 today, which was not as hot as yesterday. However, um, we had thunderstorms and rain, and so it was, the sky turned a weird color. We got this sort of monsoonal thing happened. I don't know sky was just a really strange color and then I was praying that we didn't have any brush fire start from the lightning yesterday I know of at least three brush fires in the area that were burning yesterday I know that two of them for sure were, were put out in a quick manner but the third one looked pretty big I'm not sure if it was out yet or not. The clouds came in, so I can't see that far. I'm not sure if if that one if that one uh, got put out or not. Just really crazy weather. Ah, 
let's see. Anything else newsy? Oh, and besides the weather, I got to work and the photo machine didn't work and my manager couldn't figure it out. I was off yesterday. The manager couldn't figure it out. Um, and then I couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure out what. It was making all these weird streaks and stuff. So I had to call the help desk for that and they sent a guy out to fix it. He couldn't figure out exactly why it was doing that either, but he managed to do something because it seems to be working now. And two people called out for tonight. And we only have two people at night. So both people called out for tonight. That was not good. Um, but one of the girls that worked during the morning, she volunteered to stay. So she's going to work a 13 hour shift. And then the person who was supposed to come in the middle of the day and do a mid shift and relieve us from the morning, um, had to, uh, switch his schedule and come in later so that he could close so that we had two people closing yeah not pretty this is a kind of a cool pattern right what was it called I've already forgotten what it was called oh look the temperature has gone down to a hundred woohoo I'm going to sign it I'm gonna right here. There you go. That's the name of it. Ma Mo Bay. And I think I'm done. No, I'm not. I haven't shaded yet. You guys are yelling at me. Aren't you going to shade? You need to shade. I definitely need to shade. I I feel like I don't want to do it in pencil though. I'm going to use my gray marker and do a light gray. Not that one. That doesn't look good on this type of paper. Um This one. That's too dark. Come on, it's got to be one of these. That's better. Okay. I think I'm going to use a marker to shade with. Like that. And then, oops, there's a little bit of overlap there. I think I've got all my overlaps. Which is not much. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do... In there. And that should do it. Oh goodness, somebody had a big sneeze. Okay, now I think I'm done. 
much better. That makes me happy. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And I, I think I am done. Yep. That was a fun little pattern, wasn't it? Okay. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to see you later. I'm hoping to get maybe one more done before it gets too dark in here for me to draw. Almost at that point. But I'm hoping to get one more done. Because there's no place to sit in the family room. There is just chaos. And I really don't want to have to deal with it. So I will see you guys later. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.